Hi guys, and today I'm going to be um, sharing with you the secrets of how to get clearer skin. And this is no products by the way, um, so you don't have to go to the shop and get any of this stuff. Because everyone will have the stuff at home, it's literally like, um, for example, water, everyone has that. Um, but anyway, I'm at my sink as you can see because the soap's here. Um, but I'm going to show you how to get clear skin and as you can see I literally have no spots or anything on my face and even when I do get spots they go away within a week because I do this and yeah and I think that's pretty good since I'm 13 and I'm going to be 14 in like 3 months so that's really good for my age not to have any spots um, but anyway, I'm going to show you how I do it. First, I'm going to tie my hair up. Okay, so, um, basically, my hair is now tied up. And, um, so first, I'd recommend not, like, touching your face like this or, like, rubbing your face as much as you normally would. Or, like, little to none, because if you, like, say, I touch a soap, then I touch my face it means all the germs from the people's hands that have been on the soap are going on your face therefore it's making your face dirty therefore it's gonna like build up and build up until you get a spot there um, so I'd recommend touching your face as little as you can and um, if you do touch your face then wash it with water talking about washing your face that is our second point um i'd say wash your face as many times a day as you can i normally wash mine about four times a day and it helps if you have a shower as well in the day so i wake up straight away i'll wash my face and then i'll do it some point through the day a couple of times then just before i go to sleep i'll wash my face again just to make sure nothing's sat on my face at night and even if it and when I wake up, if anything's got on my face, like dust or whatever, um, I can wash it off. And it will help with my skin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about how weird I'm being. So I'm going to wash my face. You want to like get your whole face... Even like behind your ears and on your ears and stuff because if you have earrings especially dirt can get behind there as well which can cause spots there as well so yeah so just get actually everywhere if your eyes as well even on your mouth you can always wash it off so once you've washed your face I recommend drying it with a like not used before towel like a new clean towel. Got mine right here. So, okay, and if you do get a spot or something, um, like I'm not saying you won't because, like, most people get spots, and even sometimes I get them, but um, I can get rid of them pretty easily. It might be because my skin type, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the spot routine I'm doing because i used to have quite a few of them but now i don't have many but if you do get a spot i recommend like um putting like a flannel on it um this flannel fold it up rinse it and then like just put it on the spot um but um or you can put like a block of ice on it or whatever, just like freeze it, just because I think water really helps it and like the coldness helps it as well. So yeah. I will be doing another um, clear routine, um, oh jeez, that tap is really loose. Um, I will do another like face treatment but with actual products next time. I just thought this would help 
um, since we're kind of in lockdown and the pandemic at the minute so you wouldn't be able to go out and get some stuff but I thought I'd just give you some tips on how to keep the skin and yeah I did do this for a while for like a year but then I started using products and it sped up the process a lot um so yeah I'll do a video with products next time hope you enjoyed this video bye